This is like Chinese, Japanese, Korean, all mixed together. Wait, from 25 cents to 10.99. Hi everyone! In this video, we will be trying to make 25 cents ramen fancy. This is a Maruchan ramen. I got this from Walmart. I'm pretty sure you can get this at like any grocery store. And I'm pretty sure this is like the cheapest ramen you can get. It's 25 cents. <laughs> so it's pretty cheap. It does not have a lot going on with it. So we're going to turn this into Michelin star ramen. Just kidding, but we're gonna make this a lot fancier than it is. I am not a chef, but I am not even a good cook. My way of cooking is honestly mix, mixing things that I think will taste good and hopefully it'll taste good. And that's pretty much how I'm gonna make this. There's no, I don't really have a specific recipe or anything. I just have ingredients that I think will go well with it. I've had Korean ramen, I've had Japanese ramen. I think I'm gonna do a mixture of both. Let's just see what we can. magic up if you're asian let me know if you have one of these in your house too <laughs> so first we're just gonna make the ramen based on the instructions it says to boil two cups of water in a saucepan add noodles and cook for three minutes stir occasionally okay so i kind of wa don't want to make this ramen that watery I kind of want to make it, if you guys have tried like the spicy ramen, the Korean spicy ramen, then you probably know that you drain the water so it's, it's not watery ramen. So I kind of want to make it like that consistency. I'm going to put a cup and a half of water. Okay, we're going to boil this. Alright, while the water is boiling, I've gathered up some ingredients I scavengered from the fridge. So here's what we have going on. This is kind of cheating, but we've been making um, soy sauce egg. Pretty much just boiled egg inside of like soy sauce and other seasoning to make it have more flavor. I will be putting this in the ramen at the end as like a garnishment. And I cut up some scallions as garnishment too. And I also sliced up some cucumbers as a refreshing crunch to it. Also, I have frozen corn that I that I will be adding to the ramen because I love corn inside ramen. I also have some homemade chili oil to make the ramen spicy because I like them spicy. And then I will also be adding cheese. I feel like a lot of Korean um, ramen recipes they put cheese and like kimchi. I don't have that. I don't have kimchi, but. I'm gonna add some cheese to, I don't know, make it thicker. This might ruin it honestly, but it's fine. And then I will also be adding Spam. I think these two are very Korean. Just from what I've been watching from Korean YouTubers. I didn't know how salty Spam was, so I got the light version. I'm just gonna use maybe this much. Is that too much? I think it's too much, but just use this much. I'm gonna cut it into cubes. These ingredients are not very fancy. They're just what I have sitting around. But it's definitely gonna add more flavor to, gonna add more flavor to the ramen. I wish I had seaweed to add, but I don't have seaweed. So I'm gonna be adding this as another topping. This is from Ikea is their crunchy onion or crispy onion that I'm just going to sprinkle some on the top alright so this is all the ingredients that's going to be going inside our ramen ok the water is pretty much boiling I'm going to add the ramen wait should I be adding this chicken flavor Okay, I'm gonna add only half of this packet seasoning. Before the ramen cooks thoroughly, I am going to add the corn. Since the corn is frozen, I'm gonna need to let that cook. I think I'm also going to add the spam right now. Should I? Okay, let's just add the spam to let that soak up in there.
Okay, I'm gonna add half of the seasoning package. Since I'm adding chili oil, I don't wanna put too much of this in there. So. Just half. Mix it all around. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat to low. I'm gonna let that simmer in there. And I'm gonna add this. This is pretty much a tablespoon of chili oil. I'm gonna add that in there. This is like Chinese, Japanese, Korean, all mixed together. Ooh, looks, smells delicious, looks good. I think really anything that you like would taste good in Sai Ramen. I've tried this before. Add vegetables that you usually don't like eating in Sai Ramen. I've added Brussels sprouts, I've added cabbage, I've added broccoli, and they all, because they soak up the flavor of the seasoning, although it's not the healthiest thing, but it'll make you eat vegetables. So the ramen looks cooked. Wait, I'm not sure if I recorded that part. I added some cheese inside of it. I just sprinkle some cheese. You know what? I'll add some more. I just sprinkle some cheese for fun. It's kind of fun to eat. When it melts, there's like a stringy effect. The soup. So I think it's ready to get transferred to a bowl. It's been cooking for about five minutes, I believe. I don't have a fancy ramen bowl. We're just going to use this one. Pour, this is a thick ramen. Pour our ramen here. Okay, time to garnish it. Let's add cucumber slices to one side. There's just a lot going on, honestly. Soy sauce egg. Just sprinkle scallions. And then our onion crunch. And this is a finished result. Wow. In good lighting, it looks really good. Can't even tell that it's ramen because <laughs> the ramen's all hidden from all the toppings. But look at that. Honestly, it looks pretty fancy, like something you could get at a restaurant. All right, the most important and exciting part of this video is to try this masterpiece that we have made. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a bite with everything in it. Oh, actually, I need to zoom in on this. This is a consistency I asked for. Okay, I definitely cooked the ramen for too long. It's like breaking really easily. It's thick from all the cheese I put in. I'm trying to get everything in. Mmm. Wait. So good. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One more, one more. Mmm. Wow. I am truly impressed. Okay. I think. It was a chili oil that made it really good. That's my dad's recipe. I don't even know how to make it, but the chili oil and then a good thing I put half the seasoning because it's pretty flavored already. I could taste the seasoning and I like how the cucumber kind of cuts the, the saltiness a little bit and adds a nice refreshing crunch to it. So does the crispy onion, adds a nice crunch, adds more flavor to it. Um, the Spam, good thing, get the light one because the regular one is way too salty. The light one is, is pretty good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, good. And corn, I love corn and ramen. Corn has a nice sweetness to it. And the egg is good. <laughs> Everything's good. Can't go wrong with an egg. 
and oh the cheese made the ramen like thicker and yeah mm. I don't even know it's like so much flavor it's so good I could definitely sell this for like $10.99 <laughs> okay I'm getting ahead of myself but it was really good from 25 cents to $10.99 one thing about this ramen though is definitely not slurp material like the ramen has broken I mean let me mm, I was wrong you can still slurp 10 out of 10 no bias at all okay I'm gonna have my mom try looks so beautiful <laughs> it's hyping me up slurp mm. Wow, really good. Mmm, really good. What do you like? Beautiful and tasty good. Oh, so she thinks this is aesthetically good, and presentation is good, and the taste is good. Tastes very good. Mm, so, thank so, you. so one to ten. Ten. Definitely <laughs> ten. Wait, okay, let's have my dad try. Okay. Oh, kind of no, no, my dad try. Oh, my dad said looks good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they all say the same thing. He loves ramen. Slurp. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> His facial expression. Delicious. One to one to ten. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You want 10? Yeah. <laughs> okay, 99. <laughs> oh, it needs a 99. <laughs> I'll take an 8. If I bought this to like Michelin star Japanese restaurant, I'll probably get like a 2. But for like 25 cents, Maruchan ramen turned into that. Pretty good. My parents killed it. Must be good. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Comment down below what's your favorite ramen package. I really like the Korean... Oh, what is that called? It's a really, it's a really famous Korean brand. I don't know, I'll put pictures here. Comment below what your favorite ramen is. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!